So I'd like to look at what happens as we add more and more slits to our system. This is our traditional two slit pattern that we've seen a bunch of times at this point, and I'd like to add a third slit to this. Here's three slits. All right, let's keep going. Let's add four slits and five slits. I'm gonna go back. Now we need to think about what's happening in terms of physics. In, in two slit systems, we've got two different beams of light that are hitting the backboard, and sometimes they're in agreement, they're adding up and creating constructive interference, and sometimes they're disagreeing with each other and creating destructive interference, and a lot of times there's an in-between where there's some amount of light hiding in there. If we were to add another beam of light to that, go to three slits, for example, now we've got three different beams of light, and there are obvious spots where all three of them are lining up for constructive interference. But then there's spots in the middle that the three beams of light have to decide whether they're going positive or negative, and, and their phases are all different. And so you create this weird system where there's not a lot of agreement in between those big bright peaks. And watch those bright peaks as I click to higher and higher slit counts. Here's four and five. You'll notice that the brighter spots get brighter, and the dimmer spots get dimmer. The spots in between the bright spots are now five different beams of light that are all at different phases trying to figure out whether they're going positive or negative, are they constructively interfering, some are destructively interfering, and you're getting just kind of a mush of a lot of nothing. Only in these bright spots can we say that all five of those beams are in agreement with each other, their phases are such that they're all adding and creating constructive interference. In most all other cases, they're creating some kind of mush of not quite constructive, not quite destructive interference, and it's creating darker spots in between and lighter spots at the bright spots. So my question for this video, question number two, is what would happen if you had a thousand slits all stacked up on each other? What would the pattern look like? And if you brought your rainbow glasses home, you could actually try this at home. Because rainbow glasses are thousands of slits stacked up on each other. They're called diffraction gratings. You could try to stick some light through it and you can see what kind of light pattern that creates.